Welcome back to the show, everyone. So social media is its own world with its own language, and that also means it has its own etiquette that users are learning every day. We've talked a little bit about this on the show. Digital diva Alicia Rittenhouse is back with us. This time she's here to help us figure out the do's and don'ts of social media. So welcome back. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's something that's kind of spiraling out of control, <laughs> and people really don't know how to handle it. Yes, absolutely. Well, I mean, we, we learn these things as it unfolds, like mm -hmm. I said, you know, every day. The hard way most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Necessity is the mother of invention, even with rules. Yes. So we were talking, Zuri and I, a little bit uh, about a week ago about Facebook do's and don'ts that one author suggested. Mm -hmm. So it, let's, if we, I think we have some full screens of them. Let, starting out with posting things like deaths. Don't do that. Well, see, I don't know. I have a different take on that because I think sometimes people need support, you know? So there, you know, is something that you can ask for people for a little bit of support but you know a month later don't still be talking about it and you know maybe go seek some therapy <laughs> not Facebook so therapy. I know some people like to use those social yes. networking outlets as therapy with yes. their friends some other things that he pointed out I think this one's obvious hangovers you don't want to do that instance your post birthday thank yous what's your take on that one by the way because Zuri and I were divided on that oh well I mean <laughs> So many people, if, however many friends you have, you're probably getting that many birthday wishes. So to go through and thank everybody, you know, is a little bit redundant. Just kind of post once and say, hey, everybody, thanks for the wishes. You know, they'll get the drift. They, they, they appreciate it. All right, moving on to the other ones. We'll just recap some of these here because actually some of them were, were a little bit iffy for me as well. Um, I, I do want to ask you, though, before we go on, things like deaths personal messages, personal things to your significant other. Where do you where do you draw the line with sharing details? Well, I don't know if everybody's aware, but there is private messaging on Facebook. Yeah. So, I mean, if you really <laughs> want to tell your significant other how much you love them, maybe do it a little offline with, um, you know, putting it in a private message. People don't really want to know your private business. I mean, they want to know some things, but that's a little over the top. So keep your love kind of into yourself. I mean, unless you're celebrating 25 years well, marriage. Well, so this is, okay, that's a good point. Yes. But this, that's, you also brought up another good point. When you're trying to get a, an audience on social media, you do want to share parts of your life, right? right. But where, where do you draw the line that it becomes annoying? Um, well, I think daily. I mean, look at everybody else and if you get annoyed by somebody because they're posting too much, you know, keep that in mind when you're posting. You, you're thinking of an audience. You're putting it out there for everybody. It's not just that they're sitting there thinking like, I'm just here to hear what Ali Rittenhouse has to say. You know, yeah. they are there for everybody else. Um, so just, you know, use it with discretion. And, you know, like when you have good reviews for like we were talking about restaurants and stuff like that you know use it for for positiveness yeah use it to tell people about places that you've been that maybe they want to visit or restaurants that maybe they want to eat at you know use it for other things other than just about yourself and then for same for Twitter do these do a yes. lot of these rules apply for Facebook and Twitter as well yes I, there was this you know a lot of people were posting like oh I had this for lunch today and I yeah. you know went to the restroom at this time nobody really cares about that kind of so stuff so the mundane the really mundane details of your day maybe save those for just a conversation Keep maybe not on social media yeah, yeah exactly when you get on the phone with your friends and chatting about that maybe you can tell them what you had for lunch but nobody on Facebook really wants to know oh my gosh Alicia we could go on and on yes, about we this we really could but we do have to go I've got to toss it back over to Zuri